What's up, everybody? It's B with Pray for Some Auto Detailing. I am so pumped that you have made it here for the third and final installment of how to detail your car or how I recommend detailing your car. This is going to be a sick video because I have a 2018 Ford Expedition in magnetic. It is gorgeous. This paint color is incredible, but the outside is thrashed with road grime, some mud in there. By the license plate, you can see that it's just a, looks like somebody spray painted the back because the paint is absolutely clean underneath it, but around it is just mud, a perfect fine layer of mud. The interior, a child has puked in there, which it totally happens. So I'm gonna get that all extracted. It's on the carpet for sure. This is the most expensive of the three details I have shown so far, and it is going to be probably the sickest. At least it's going to be my favorite. Let's get rolling. Since this is my no holds barred detailing recommendations or how I would do it, we are not only going to use the tire brush, we are going to use the wheel brushes as well. And of course we have our detailing brushes. Super pumped to rinse this expedition off. I was a little bummed as I did the tire and wheels. I kind of got some water on the paint, which was lame because it was going to look super epic if it were totally dry because this thing is absolutely thrashed. And I totally love rinsing from the bottom to the top. And then of course I rinse down again, but I do it for visual effect because it looks way dope on camera. It is time to begin the washing of this expedition. I can't believe how big of a transformation just rinsing alone. The mud was hiding what is an incredibly beautiful paint. To wash, we are going to use clean slick from Chemical Guys. We are going to use this wash because we want to strip any paint protection that may be on there and apply one of my own. You remember in the other two washes, I had the ceramic coatings on those vehicles, so I didn't use a stripping wash, I used a maintenance wash, which I've already touched on in those videos. So make sure that you use the right type of shampoo for whatever kind of detail you are doing. If it is a maintenance wash, you definitely do not, do not use a stripping wash. If it is a wash where you are going to apply a new round of paint protection, you definitely want to use a stripping wash. It is time to go foam cannoning. <laughs> Love it. Gonna wash the expedition using my favorite, the two bucket method. It was extremely difficult on the first episode in this How I Recommend You Wash Your Vehicle series to not use the two bucket method because I have become almost dependent on it, but I totally get not everybody has the ability to have two buckets and wash. But moving into the two bucket method, we have a bucket for washing and we have a bucket for rinsing. We wash a panel using a microfiber wash mitt and a detailing brush. We come back to the rinse bucket, rinse those items, put them back into the soap suds bucket, 
return to the vehicle and do the next panel. It is an extremely effective method because you rinse all of that grime off into the rinse bucket and you don't have as high of a risk in scratching your vehicle because sometimes things hide in there. The debris can hide from the rinsing and the foam cannon, the first round of the foam cannon. Gonna coat the expedition one more time with the foam cannon and the shampoo, and then we're gonna do the final rinse before the decontamination steps. For the chemical decontamination step, we are going to use Adam's Iron Remover. In the second video of this series, I used only the chemical decontamination. This time we're going to couple it with more and I'll explain why when we get to that step. For part three, we are going to dry in a unique way. Rather than using solely microfiber towels, we're gonna to use the Adams Air Cannon. The reason I didn't use it on the other two details is because the Adams Air Cannon was kind of expensive. It was about 400 bucks-ish, and it's not really practical for everybody who casually details their own vehicle to spend 400 bucks. It is an awesome tool to ensure the most awesome bond with the paint protection that I'm going to apply and the clear coat. I want to remove all contamination. I've already done the chemical decontamination, which I did in the other two segments of this series. Now I'm going to physically decontaminate. The reason that I don't recommend this on the other two details is because that, those details are simple. They are how you can detail your vehicle affordably and consistently, and you don't want to increase the likelihood of marring your clear coat. A physical decontamination step definitely carries that risk, so you have to be prepared to polish if you mar the clear coat. Using a clay bar definitely increases that risk even more. The clay mint, like this one from 303, or the Adams polishes one that I have used on other details, does not carry that inherent risk. But, well, as much of a risk, but it definitely is there, so I didn't recommend it on the other step. I actually saw the state of this piano gloss and I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of paint correction. Compounding's done, time to polish. Definitely doesn't matter which step of detail you are doing, whether one, two, or three, I think a surface prep, if you are doing a paint protection, is absolutely important. In step one, I recommended a homebrew. In step two, I recommended the Guyon surface prep. In step three, I'm going to use Adam's surface prep. Besides paint correction, this is my favorite step, which is paint protection. For this, today we are going to use Adam's Graphene Ceramic Spray Coating, microfiber pad to apply, microfiber towel to level and wipe off. To apply, we spray the graphene onto the microfiber pad, apply in a crosshatch pattern, Once it has flashed, we grab the microfiber towel, bring it over, and then we level and wipe off. You have to admit, it is kind of funny that there are puke bags inside the door and even in the rear of the car, but there's also puke in the car. So maybe the puke bags were added after the puking. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> kind of made me chuckle. Can't hold it against a kid for puking. <laughs> now that we're done with the exterior, which still, this paint, incredible. Time to move on to the interior. In this third 
iteration of the detail. We are obviously going all the way. We are going to clean the carpets and everything, which is obviously necessary because of the puke. We are going to remove the floor mats first. There's not a ton of personal items, but these floor mats are in rough shape. Let's remove those. We'll get them pressure washed off, washed off, and then we'll move on to removing the personal items and vacuuming. How cool is that? If you remember on the F-150 I detailed a long time ago, I found the biggest floor mat ever. It has now been beaten. Go Ford, these are both Fords. Go that, that's awesome. So big. In the base detail, the simplest and cheapest way, we had no pressure washer and no detailing brushes. In the step up from the basic detail, we had the pressure washer and the brush, which obviously increased efficiency tenfold. This detail, we're going to actually just stick with that same method because I kind of feel like if you have a tire brush, you can use that on the mats, as well as you already have the pressure washer, so you can use those on the mats as well. And the same soap that you would use on the exterior of the vehicle. In this case, it's Clean Slate from Chemical Guys. Regardless of which level of detail or which cash outlay you're going to choose from the three that I have made in this video series, if you have an animal, a dog specifically, that spends any amount of time in your vehicle, I recommend a lily brush. Lily brush is used to remove dog hair, animal hair, from the carpet. You can see here, just a couple simple little passes, and you get animal hair. It helps a ton. I would recommend it. It's 12 bucks depending on, there's a couple different sizes, there's a couple different brands. I really recommend this one. I've had great success with it and I've used it on a ton of vehicles so I know it's pretty durable. Remember, no holds bar detail. So before I actually vacuum this rear area, I'm going to use the drill brush because there's just a ton of dust and debris pretty much everywhere.
No lie, I just did seven laps around the entire vehicle trying to find my drill. It had been pinched in that seat when I laid them down. <laughs> One thing that is drastically different in this detail versus the other details is I actually use the Sandia Carpet Extractor. It's one of my preferred tools and it is an amazing extractor. After I spray the carpet cleaner on and agitate, I use the extractor with hot softened water to extract all of that carpet cleaner out of the carpet. Now, this is probably not a weekend warrior tool with detailing because it is really on the higher end as far as cost goes. And if you don't detail as much as I do, it probably would never justify it. If you were just doing your own personal vehicle a couple of times a year, I used a Bissell for a long time and it was an okay option. It is definitely on the lower end for the cost bracket, but the Sandia is definitely higher end. So that's why I only used it on this no holds bar detail and the other details I didn't even carpet extract or extract the carpet because I didn't clean the carpet because that is not what you would do in a normal detail. This is a full all the way detail and there was some puke in the car so obviously we were going to do it in that one. Another tool that is definitely unique to this third highest step in the how-to details or the tools that I recommend for detailing is the steam cleaner. The steam cleaner is the highest tier option for cleaning the plastics, carpet, pretty much anything because it is great at blasting away any of the nastiness. On the lower end details, I just used the degreaser, the 3D APC because that is definitely enough to crack most stains. And it really is impractical to purchase a steam cleaner if you have one vehicle to detail and you don't have to detail it that frequently. I spend most weekends out here in the garage and I detail some extremely nasty vehicles. So I wanna use the best tools for my customers and the steam cleaner is definitely an extremely good tool. 
and I always couple it with that 3D APC, which is a great degreaser for the plastic. To clean all of these plastics, obviously we're going to use APC, which is a degreaser. Detailing brush in any tight area. Microfiber towel to wipe off. And the steam cleaner is one of my favorite tools for interior detailing because it yields epic results. Leather is in desperate need of being super duper cleaned. I'm going to use APC, a brush to work it in, microfiber towel to wipe off. Whenever you clean leather, you want to protect it. Today we're going to use Adam's Leather Conditioner. I'm going to dress all the plastics with Car Pro Pearl, microfiber applicating pad to apply as well as a detailing brush, microfiber towel to level and wipe off. to clean the windows using Chemical Guys Streak Free. Microfiber towel to wipe off and one of the customer's puke bags. <laughs> I'm gonna treat the floor mats with Car Pro Pearl.
I would of course like to take this time to thank the customer. Thank you, Epic customer, for letting me detail your expedition. It was a ton of fun to do. That paint was incredible and the interior transformation, even though there was a little bit of puke in there, was a blast and I hope you are as happy with the results as I am. This expedition detail took so long, but it was amazing and a few spots turned out really great. I hope you like this three-part mini-series on how I recommend people detail vehicles. And I hope you like that I was able to show, you know, it's not, you don't have to do everything that I do on every detail. You can definitely get cars fairly clean on a little bit tighter budget, because obviously, for customers' vehicles, I kind of go all out to make sure their car is as clean as possible. But if you're just trying to do a weekend warrior thing where you're just cleaning a car and you have one car that you want to keep maintained, you can use a lot of different methods to do it. And I hope that these videos helped.